Welcome back, and thank you for staying with us here at Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net, your choice for the conservative voice. Thank you, Deb and Tim and Jack. We were over the break talking about how free markets do much better in every level, especially in our schools. Couple, couple quick thoughts on that. And well, uh, one thing is uh, uh, you find uh, these people in Chicago are, are talking about reforming education, and they come up with all kinds of uh, of dumb things, uh, and they pre they're pretend they have to come up with something because they're they're living in a disaster area. Yes, it's absolutely. costing way too much, and we all know the kids are getting a right. lousy education. Right. The product is only good. half graduate School in those schools, and in the big cities of uh, of Illinois, uh, <laughs> uh, it's typical that it's a uh, half of them uh, that enter the high schools graduate. Uh, even in this area here, only four percent. Of the graduates of the of the system in District 300, four percent mm. are qualified to go to a two-year college without remedial training. Only four percent. Uh, so that's tragic that, that the uh, K-12 system is that bad. Uh, I've been at this 40 years. Like uh, I told you before, uh, I started going to school board meetings with skunk at a picnic, <laughs> and uh, oh boy, it, it was palpable <laughs> when I entered a room. Yeah. Uh, it, nobody treated me nice. Well, you kept them accountable, and that's and that's, that's what isn't that what, what you guys through, are doing? Through all of that Tim forty years, I, I think I know why uh, only half the kids are graduating from from uh, high school. Uh, uh, in my business, uh, we give every job applicant and everything from sweepers on up through engineers. Uh, I don't know which one is the better, but uh, <laughs> we have all kinds of jobs there. And we give them all one test, um, and that's sixth grade arithmetic. And we find that three quarters of the people cannot pass a sixth grade arithmetic test. And, uh, and, and boy, that's a spectrum because uh, we're broadband You're not going to give me that test today, are you? And, uh, <laughs> but uh, only uh, three quarters fail. So we give them twice the time on the test, and we take the fifth grade level. With that, 50% of the applicants can do that. The reason we do that is because... Uh, if you can do arithmetic, uh, you have submitted to a discipline, you've learned by rote, and you've learned things that have right and wrong answers. All of that is foreign to the public school system. They don't want anything that has right and wrong answers. And uh, what I've, what I, my long experience with this, I think the trouble with the school system starts at the very earliest thing. Newton's laws of motion apply to people. Anything started in, in one direction at a given speed. It's going to keep doing that. The big trouble with our school system happens in the first three grades because they teach these kids, especially in the city and especially uh, uh, in uh, a lot of the areas uh, with, with black kids in them, people are making assumptions that they can't learn. They are dead flat wrong. Right. Uh, St. Elizabeth constantly proves that those bright-eyed little kids in their school are learning something right. in the first the three chance. grades. They yes. learn to read in the first three grades, and they learn to do arithmetic. If you don't do that with kids, by the time they get to sixth grade, you've lost the boys. The, the girls are a little more dutiful and less feisty at that point, and uh, so they learn. That's why they're smarter than us guys, is uh, they keep on going and they do finally learn it. But the kids are ready for a street gang at the sixth uh, grade level. Yeah. If they haven't been taught arithmetic and, and uh, a little bit of discipline, you can't tell me it's the fault of the family. And you know no. what, Deb and Tim, thank you. How can people reach you real quick? Joliet Tea Party. Joliet Tax Day Tea Party. Dot com. Dot com. Yep. And come back and join us next Sunday at 8 a.m. on AM 560 Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. You your website? choice for the conservative voice. And uh, your website is? Uh, oh, my website, vote for colitis.blogspot.com. You know what? I'm sure you could find that on <laughs> yes. the uh, Tea Party <laughs> website. Yeah. County board. You'll find and it. Uh, thank you guys. Thanks for stepping it was great. up. Yeah, thank you for we enjoyed us. ourselves. Have a great week.